So in this problem we're told, in coming to a stop, a car leaves skid marks 85 meters long on the highway. Assuming a deceleration of 4 meters per second squared, estimate the speed of the car just before braking. So let's say we have this car here. And so we know that it's going to, in coming to a stop, so on this highway it's going to stop here. And so it leaves skid marks 85 meters long. So this car is going to travel, and the car is going to be here. And this is going to be 85 meters long. right? So imagine these are the skid marks. And so at this point right here, it's going to start decelerating at 4 meters per second. And so this is going to be negative because it's decelerating. So for meters per second squared. And then we also know at this point right here, it, the velocity of the car, since it's coming to a stop, is going to be 0 meters per second. Because when something's uh, at a stop, right, it's not traveling, so its velocity is uh, 0. So now that we've drawn it, let's actually uh, find each variable, and then we're going to use the kinematic equations to solve. So... We know the distance, they give us delta x, right? Delta x is just the change in position, so which is just the distance traveled. So in this case, it's just 85 meters. We're also given acceleration, right? So acceleration is negative 4 meters second squared. And so this is going to be our acceleration. And finally, we're given our final velocity, right? So v, uh, which is 0 meters per second, right? Because the velocity at the end is when it comes to a stop. And when something's at a stop, it's not moving. So our final velocity is 0 meters per second. And then they're asking us for the speed of the car just before braking. So the speed of the car just before braking is its initial velocity, right? Because this car, they're asking the speed of it just before it breaks. So right in the beginning, so its initial velocity is what we're trying to find. So we're trying to find v sub 0, which is just the initial velocity. So what we're going to do is use one of these equations. We're going to plug in the variables and solve for v sub 0. So which equation should we use, though? Uh, if you look at all of these, 1, 2, and 3, they all have a time variable, right? They all have t. And we're not given any time variable, so that's just an indication we shouldn't use it. And if you look at 4, we're given all these variables. We're given v. Uh, v sub 0 is what we're solving for. We're given a, and we're given delta x. So we're going to be using 4. So let's go ahead and plug everything in. So v squared, we know v is 0. So 0 squared, which is just 0, equals v sub 0 squared, that's what we're solving for, so v sub 0 squared plus 2 times a, which is minus 4, and then times delta x, and so delta x is 85. So I'm going to combine these, so 2 times minus 4 is minus 8, so we have minus 8 times 85, and so uh, if you multiply minus 8 times 85, you're going to get minus 680. So we have 0 equals v sub 0 squared minus 680. And then we're going to move this to the other side, and then we're going to square root to get v sub 0. So if we move this, uh, this to the other side, it's going to become 680 equals v sub 0 squared. And then let's square root to get rid of the 2. So v sub 0 is going to be equal to the square root of 680. And so if you plug this in your calculator, square root of 680 is going to give you 26.076. And then we're just going to round to the whole number in this one. So it's just going to round to 26. You can round however you want, but in this case, it's, I'm going to round to 26. And then we're doing velocity, right? And velocity is measured in meters per second. So it's going to be 26 meters per second, and that's going to be your answer to this problem.